Good afternoon or good evening from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending loads of love as usual. Uh, not such a good day so far at Ellen Road. It's nearly finished. I've totally given up in some kind of way, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I was worried and I knew I had reason to be worried as well. But anyway, while that's been all happening, many times along the months, you're asking me about my big brother and any stories on him, John Gray, down there in Manchester. And today, well, I haven't got permission to talk about those other stories during his lifetime, but maybe one day I will. Maybe he'll be on the show one day, like many will be. We know about this already. Um, but today, coming in, a folklore story uh, about a big row outside Ellen Road. Now, I haven't rang my big brother yet, but coming in today, what a character. Billy O'Shea, one of the Red Devils, Manchester United's greatest of all time, Uncle Yami says, by the sound of things. Uh, but he's got in touch with me and sent me a voice note. Uh, so I haven't checked in with no one, but we'll do it raw, like we always do it on Uncle Yami B TV, right? So it's Manchester United versus Leeds. It's at Ellen Road. It's outside uh, the Leeds ground after the match. If my memory serves me correctly during reading some of those notes of John's early notes in the a possible book, if you get what I mean. Brian Robson could have scored the winner at Ellen Road during two cup games. I can't remember, but I know that I was in jail. Uh, but I know that they beat us. But Billy O'Shea, legendary uh, folklore story, this one, apparently, with the older generation. And those Leeds fans and Man United fans may well know about this already. I don't know. But all I know is this guy reminds me a bit of bit me in the old days where he just goes running into a crowd all on his own. Uh, win, lose or draw, you've got to give it to him. So I'll let, play it all the way through for you first and we'll go from there, all right? Yeah, no, it's a chocolate, a chocolate send off. Oh, no. Oh, well, if, if that's uh, Yummy B, this is, uh, it is Billy O'Shea from uh, Back Seat to You. I want to relate a story that uh, happened when we went to Leeds oh, it was years ago. We were in the chipper, we walked past the chipper, just for his craft. We were in the chipper and he fucking got me, grabbed hold of me, and fucking watched him put me in the fucking, in the hot fat. Uh, but a mate of mine fucking was passing, fucking Johnny was with, John Gray, went in, knocked fuck out of him, and then. Did I, did I come along and fucking. Uh, and then when he let me out, went and booted him, we'd already fucking done in. Uh, fucking Leeds fans, he fucking hate us, put all the fucking manks in his head, all the fucking from whom, where we're from. He didn't stand a fucking chance. So if you wanted, uh, phone me, get my number off John, and I'll, 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 go, I'll go through it in detail for you. And uh, you can send it to the Leeds fans. But uh, just tell him that, the fuck, I don't know what he's up to now, the fucking the fella, but he's, uh, I bet he's still on the fucking floor in that fucking chippy. You're fucking battered. Always used to batter them anyway. Every way that week, Chief, where the chippy that story was in there. Phone me up and I'll relay it to you. All right, just don't forget, Billy O'Shea, back seat to boom. Where the angels come from. See you later. One second. Right. So we gather what happened. We know that he came out the ground. We know that as, it, well, from the notes I've read, he walked past, he left John Gray. John Gray, while he was going to the chippy, John Gray, I think it was with Shorts, within one of those pubs were for Leeds or Man United. Uncle Yami's history, you know, I went to Ellen Road a few times in my life, but I know there were separate pub, pubs for certain teams. So that would be my guess, right? So he turns up, he goes into the chippy, John Gray says to him, don't go in there, you silly bastard, right? But he doesn't listen. He goes in there, the Leeds fans grab hold of him, push his head into a, a, uh, the chip fat oil and his hair burns and his forehead. Hold on, John Gray hears, hears a scream, right? Runs in there, apparently lay, lays two of them out. So uh, uh, Billy O'Shea says, right? No, they get out of it, blah, 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 blah. We know about the history, but let's go over it in careful inspection with this guy, Billy O'Shea. What a character. Yeah, no, it's no question. Talk, talk oh, no. Oh, no. If, if that's uh, Yami B, this is... Uh... Yeah, that's me, and you're... Uh, Billy O'Shea from uh, Back Seat to You. I want to relate a story that uh, happened when we went to Leeds. Oh, it was years ago. We went in the chipper, we walked past the chipper just for his craft. We went in the chipper and he fucking got me, grabbed hold of me. Hold on. That's a bit... <laughs> I used to do that, Billy. <laughs> All them years later, you're still at full pelt. 
and he fucking got me, grabbed hold of me, and fucking watched him put me in the fucking, in the hot fat. Uh, but a mate of mine fucking was passing, fucking Johnny who was with, John Gray, went in, not fuck out of him, and then... Bloody hell, the police are still around you, Billy, all these years later. <laughs> so, now, so now I come along and fucking... Uh, then when they let me out, went and booted them, we'd already fucking done in. Uh, fucking leech fans, they fucking hate us, put all the fucking manks in his head. I'm a pretty familiar with where we're from. You didn't stand a fucking chance. So if you wanted, uh, phone me, get my... I'm not really happy that my big brother laid out a couple of my fans, Billy, but anyway... ...a number of John, I'm not... I, I'll go, I'll go through it in detail for you, and, uh I think you're legendary already and this story's folklore because I read it somewhere in those early notes, Billy. You can send it to the Leeds fans, but... Uh, I won't be sending it to my Leeds fans. <laughs> they might be listening, Billy, but I won't be sending it to them. Uh, just tell them that, the fucking, I don't know what he's up to now, the fucking, the fella, but he's, uh, I bet he's still on the fucking floor in that fucking chippy. You're fucking battered. Always you... That reminds me of the tumble dryer in Long Larton, where the great man John Gray had a fight with a boxer and stuck him in there. I think he might be still stuck in there too. Used to batter them anyway. Every way that week, Chief, where the chip. Well, you know, you won loads of battles, Billy, but you couldn't have won them all. Chip is their story within there. Phone me up and I'll relay it to you. I might do. All right, just don't forget Billy O'Shea. Back Billy O'Shea. Where the did you just come from? See you later. What a geezer, Billy O'Shea, Manchester United's finest from way back in the day and still at full pill. You heard it first from Uncle Yami B TV. How about that one? Coming up later, a fight with Pat Tate and an older man, David Riley. Uncle Yami sheds light on that. Send it to the